Welcome to this edition of the Walker Tech Minute. In this video, we will demonstrate the steps for changing oil in the ZT3100 Hydro Gear transmission used in the S models. It is recommended to change the oil in these transmissions after initial break in period of 75 to 100 hours. Thereafter, change oil every 400 hours of operation. To begin, thoroughly clean the exterior of the transaxle housing and remove the reservoir cap to allow venting. Remove the blower receiver cone for access to the transaxle oil drain plugs. Then using an 11 16 hex wrench or ratchet and socket, remove the plug on the lower inside of the transaxle, allowing the oil to drain. Next, remove the oil filter guard, remove and discard the oil filter. Wipe excess oil from the filter base surface and apply a small amount of oil to the new oil filter gasket to help with installation of new filter. Install the new oil filter and tighten by turning three-fourths to one turn after gasket contacts the filter base surface. Reinstall the oil filter guard and drain plug, then reinstall the blower receiver cone. As a note, in this video we are using an MS-18 as our example, and the MS-14 will differ slightly as the reservoirs are mounted on the transaxle, and when servicing those units you will need to remove the reservoir and the reservoir retainer to refill the transaxle. Remove the oil reservoir hose attached to the elbow on top of the transaxles, and the elbow to access the oil fill opening. Fill the transaxle with 2050 weight motor oil through the oil fill opening. It will take approximately 78 ounces to completely fill the transaxle. Before reinstalling the elbow, back off the locking nut on the elbow until it is snug. The O-ring should be in the bottom of the O-ring groove. Reinstall the elbow and when it begins to be snug, Position the elbow towards the center of the tractor and tighten the lock nut and reinstall the reservoir hose. Next, Fill the reservoir one quarter to one half inch, six to 13 millimeters, full of 2050 weight oil. With the wheel off the ground, start the engine and pull the steering lever back and allow the transmission to run for one to two minutes. Shut the engine off, recheck the oil level in the reservoir and fill to the full line if necessary. If the transaxles sound noisy, there may be air trapped in the transaxle. If this is the case, to purge the air from the transaxle, raise the tractor and make sure the brake is off. With the engine running, sitting on the tractor, slowly move the forward speed control forward and backward five to six times. Turn the engine off, check the oil level, and add if needed. Repeat this procedure until the transaxles operate at normal noise levels and move smoothly in forward and reverse. When the above procedures have been followed for both transaxles, 
it may be necessary to make steering adjustments. For these adjustments, refer to the Walker Tech Minute video, MB and MS Hydro Gear Steering Adjustments, posted August 2015. Thanks for watching this Walker Tech Minute. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future Tech Minute topics, please send your request to techminute at walkermowers.com.